damn go get this man don't be a damn go get this man don't be a get this get this get this get this man you are with the boss don't be a damn go get this man don't be a damn go get this man don't be a get this get this get this get this man you are with the boss Tim Warren Braxton said the truth is ladies these dudes out here really do be gay It ain't enough money, beauty, hair, babies. I, that might have been good, she said it. In the world to keep them. They want dick. Period. With a fucking T. What I tell y'all, tell, tell, sign of a nothing ass bitch. Um, it's nothing wrong with you, but they will find every reason in the world to make you not good enough. If he lays with you for three, four, ten days and he don't touch you, it's not you. He want a man. And that's on my mama. All right. That's another uh, nothing ass bitch term. On my mama. How the fuck you gonna put it on your mama and you don't fucking know it? You retarded bitch. <laughs> Welcome back to the Big Fast Podcast. I'm Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation and the Men 2 Movement. And this is... Are you fucking serious? As in, are you fucking serious? Still using that cone? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. When you got another one, but they chewed that bitch up too. Um... Got a rat tail and this one. I can use this. But um Tamar Braxton, what's up with you? Let me holler at you. Let me holler at you. Let me holler at you, Tamar. Tamar Braxton. Um, just like me. Just like me. You know, you don't want to... Not like me. I, I, I'm, I'm, I was saying just like me and the fact that maybe you don't have to be going through the situation currently for you to think about it and say this, this is... I know that this is something that needs to be spoken about um but and maybe you know what maybe you know she it is a shot at whoever the fuck because if she's with somebody right now who is fucking her uh she can this, this can be a two-sided sword um but i want to give y'all the um exact words that she said before i before i speak on this because um, shout out to Kitty. Uh, Kitty had a friend 
that spoke on this. Um, she was with somebody for I think five years, and uh, after two years or three years, are you fucking serious, dog? After two or three years, the sex came to a screeching halt. So when it, you know, we grown, so I'm sh I'm, I'm sure what what happened was. Uh, she was still trying to get some dick and um so she would probably give him a head and shit like that and he just wouldn't it just stay soft and um I I it fucks with a bitch and there's no two ways about this shit a bitch not getting fucked this and this is for a And, and see how I'm saying bitch and not hoe. I would never disrespect no bitch and call no hoe. I never disrespect no hoe and call no bitch. Um, this is your bitch at this point in time. Um, a bitch can play that game about um, my heart ain't in my pussy. All she fucking want. Um, but it's definitely one of your vital organs are in that motherfucker because... A nigga not fucking you sends you into a very hostile fucking place. My nigga, if you've ever stayed with a hoe and you stop fucking that bitch, my nigga, this is when, this is when, you know, six o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, she go in that bitch and start banging on dishes, trying, she washing dishes and shit like that, uh, running bath water. Running the fuck, you know what I'm saying? You know, playing music, turning the TV up loud, laughing up front. Doing everything to make, you know, shit miserable for you because she is in a very miserable place uh, because she did not get no fucking dick. And it's making her feel like she's worthless. And that's where this, this, um, this shit has to stop. Um... With the with uh, Kitty's friend, um, I think she said she went four or five months. Uh, she told him when the sex stopped. She told him he needed to go handle that situation, and um, he didn't go to the doctor and handle that. Uh, the four or five months passed, still nothing, and he was supposed to be in his twenties and shit like that, and he's having this problem. Um, And they just they they not hearing that no sex shit. And my question immediately, because this this is um this is this is important. What happens when the person that you love, if love ain't just all about if our relationship just ain't all about sex, we got good news and we got bad news. Hold on, hold on. But all my all my habitual donators that always hear their name during the um, AO Nation donation conversation that we do every third Sunday, I salute you before we do anything. Um, to take your hard earn and to put it in something that you fuck with, it motivates me beyond words. Period. Love. The good news is this. I'm going to continue to do the How to Identify Nothing Ass Bitch series. Of course, you know it's um, an AO Nation exclusive series. So you have to go to patreon.com and become a patron um, in order to watch it. And once you become a patron, you'll be able to see all of the other unreleased episodes that I couldn't put on YouTube. Every Monday we go live on the Big Face Podcast channel at 7.30. A lot of y'all be late than a motherfucker, but we go live every Monday at 7.30. Um, if you're a lieutenant, you'll be given the privilege to call in and state your opinion at any point in time during the broadcast. Um, at 6.45, you'll be given a call-in number on your Patreon account, and we just go from there. For all my new people, if you want the uh, Are You Serious t-shirt, it's $15. The Big Face Podcast t-shirt, 
is $15. The Men 2 t-shirt is $20. And the Big Face Podcast Scullies are $10. Uh, go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10. Address, size, color, and what shirt you want. It's time for the bad news. The bad news is no one watches sponsored videos. So if you're a rapper and you're thinking that I'm going to get an IG sponsorship or I'm going to get a Facebook sponsorship, nobody's watching this shit. So the numbers that they're telling you that you have are bullshit. And you know that bullshit because when you post after you did your sponsorship, your shit plummets. Even when you are running the sponsorship, your fucking YouTube numbers are bullshit. They're bullshit. Stop playing with yourself. Here on this show, where we do not accept trash music, we do not accept homosexual music, and we don't accept that mumble rap bullshit. The prices for promotion start at $200. They go up to $2,000, depending on how much exposure you want. They start there. So if you don't have $200, there's no reason to come this way. If your music is not up to par, there's no reason to come this way. I explain the packages as soon as you come in the inbox and say, Hey, I got my budget together with the packages on. I'm not putting out no fucking price sheet so you can pass that shit to your fucking homosexual homeboy and send him my fucking way. Ain't no fucking price sheet because everybody can't get on this show. I want to see your motherfucking profile. I want to check see what the fuck I'm fucking with. This show has integrity. That's why we rock the way we rock. But you keep paying that $25, $35 to a fucking sponsorship, which no one sees. They scroll right past it. And you'll be a fucking 50-year-old rapper. And that's just what it is. This shit you gotta be, homie. And what happens when um that person gets into a, a horrible carbon or contracts a horrible mutagen of a disease and they lose the feeling in their the lower half of their body so it's over with what what happens then and you know what man to a lot of these bitches nothing ass bitches at this point now we're doing nothing ass bitches to a lot of these nothing ass bitches that is worth worse than him dying because if he died i can go on to the next person and still be fucking but him still being here and I got to hold it down and wait on this nigga to die. Man, I, I just can't imagine, dog. I can't imagine. And could you imagine that fucking pain of knowing that shit from the jump? From the jump. She don't have to say that she's a sex a dick dog. You can tell. That's, that's, that's if you have a trustworthy... Uh, woman you have a trustworthy woman to where you know that if she don't get dick from you she's going to be hostile not a bitch who will be happy if she's not getting dick from you because she's going to get dick from somewhere else you are her only source of sex which that's why you know a lot of shit that's where relationships are made to fail to me because I don't see, and we're going to talk about that, about, you know, bitch, I don't find you attractive no more. Um, but what happens then? Now I got to watch you. Knowing you're a dick demon, I have to watch you walk around this house. You ain't, we ain't fucked in two years. And if you explain that to any woman, girl, I had to cheat on them, girl, because I waited two years, bitch, and I ain't do nothing. Girl, you better than me. So what does that tell you as a husband? I'm not here trying to, you know, mess up nobody's family. But this is, and like, but it's not going to make it no better if you take that shit out your fucking mind. Oh, uh, fuck, I'm going to deal with that shit when we close that motherfucker. No, nigga. You should want to know that now and let that heartache, you know, simmer a little bit. Like, if I couldn't fuck you or do this shit. Don't fuck the hoe for two years, but then it's like, why the fuck would you do that if you have a good relationship? Why why even put these type of tests in place? And it goes back to my whole thing about being prepared. Um, 
I think being prepared for whatever is, is more important than a lot of shit. So, that would be important to me, though. Like, it would be very fucking important to me. Because when we live in the house together, first of fucking all, man, we're going to be together forever, which I don't think that's ever going to happen with me. Um, I don't think. Um... If we're going to be together forever, you better know. You better know. <laughs> that at some point, your pussy is going to start feeling like my hand. And only people who have had a relationship where you stay with a bitch, and you know, you got you to gotta actually be deep in this shit to know this. There are times when you don't want... I would much rather just watch porn. I would... So, but you got to sneak it. Go in the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? And just... Like, this is way more exciting to me than fucking you. Because I've done everything. I've... I'm no longer amazed at how soft the ass is. At this point, I wish the ass was more firm. You know what I'm saying? And, and so you, uh, if you're going to cheat on me, at least cheat up. It's like, bitch, that's not, bitch, I just want something different. I don't give a fuck what the fuck it is. I just want something different. And then a the woman will say, what, you don't think I want something different? And that's what I'm saying. What the fuck are we doing here? What are we doing here? Mentally, we in love, but physically, it's like, no. Nah. But you know what else? Kitty friend said that she would be open to um, polygamous, a polygamous lifestyle, and I think that's grown woman shit. I think that's grown woman shit. Understanding, hey, it's gonna be so much work trying to keep this nigga, but I think she want to do that shit for another reason. But man, I mean, it just it, it's on you. It's on you. It's on you. I just say I'm, I'm going to stay away from that and uh, whenever I choose to uh, jump back out there and fuck a bitch, it's going to be so many goddamn stipulations. It's going to be all the, all the cameras in there. It's going to be crazy. That hoe going to know. Bitch, this ain't nothing you probably get used to. Let's read what Tamar Braxton said. So that's the good part. Let's get to the, the real part. Tamar Braxton said, the truth is, ladies... These dudes out here really do be gay. It ain't enough money, beauty, hair, babies. I, that might have been good, she said it. In the world to keep them. They want dick. Period. With a fucking T. What I tell y'all. Tell, tell, sign of a nothing ass bitch. Um... It's nothing wrong with you, but they will find every reason in the world to make you not good enough. If he lays with you for three, four, ten days and he don't touch you, it's not you. He want a man, and that's on my mama. All right. That's another uh, nothing ass bitch term on my mama. How the fuck you going to put it on your mama and you don't fucking know it, you retarded bitch? Um... And now, see, now I'm, I'm, I'm angry. Now, I was talking about Kitty Friend. I wasn't angry. Uh, but now we get retarded shit. And it's, 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 it's like, it's, it's no logic in it. Um, let's, let's just, let's break it down piece by piece, man. Um, the truth is, ladies, that these dudes out here really do be gay. First off, when she start off like that, it's like, okay, you about to show receipts. You about to show video or something like that uh, to, to back up your statement. No. You just gonna come with words. Okay, nothing ass bitch. It ain't enough money, beauty, hair, babies in the world to keep them. Let's break that down. It ain't enough money. What do you mean keep them? What that that's that's the thing. You talk about six, and you have to watch this, man. These nothing ass bitches, man, they'll mince these words and mix them up. Bitch, you don't want a man. You want a captive. You want a sex slave. That's what you want. T 
to keep what if what the fuck are you talking about to keep them ain't enough money beauty let's go to beauty um did we do money uh money um so you can be a rich bitch but you unattractive but that's supposed to make me <laughs> if this is you know what i'm i'm going too deep Look at all these fucking things that this nothing ass bitch listed. Money. Beauty. Hair. Babies. These are all things that only a nothing ass bitch would say when it's pertaining to keeping a partner. We're in love. We're talking about love and you're talking about money, beauty, hair. See... And babies, first off, those things, that is a nothing-ass bitch list if I've ever seen one. Those are things that a nothing-ass bitch cherishes. She cherishes these things. And she feels like, I cherish it, so he should cherish it. What in the fuck are you talking about, bitch? You going money? Money. That's going... What about Bond? Um, uh, time, experiences, memories, uh, 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 a personality, uh, counseling, uh, fuck it, sex classes, pole classes, money, hair, beauty, and babies. Nothing ass bitches. Nothing ass bitches. Babies? Like I said, I was mad at that, but it's like, well, bitch, you all telling the truth. Tell these hoes that they can't have no baby to keep no nigga. Let them know that now. Let them know that, but that's only something that a nothing ass bitch would think. None of these things are anything that's going to keep a nigga around. As far as, and let me stop saying that, none of these things are going to keep him interested in the bedroom with you. Hair? Beauty. I'm sorry, beauty will keep him um, interested for a while, for a moment. But when you're talking about a long-term relationship, because, bitch, you, went, you you didn't make this message when you first got with him or in the first two years. No, it's all good then. It becomes old. It gets old. It gets old. And you think because, well, should I deal with it? I'm not no fucking woman. I'm a fucking man. And that's and that and that's at that point, my nigga, you really gotta you gotta take fucking responsibility and say, I made a mistake. I should not have got married. Because that was you saying that ah oh, that you all I'm gonna need for the rest of my life. You have to know that. You know what I'm saying? Like, the reason why relationships fail are, is sex. The reason why relationships fail is sex. You fuck somebody else. I think you want to fuck somebody else. You're not fucking me. The reason why marriages and relationships fail is sex. When she's acting fucked up, she wants to be fucked. When she got a headache, she wants to be fucked. Well, yeah, I can't say that because some old will tell a nigga, um, I don't know, got a headache, I don't feel like it tonight. That's some other shit. Um, and it, it's just relationship, that shit gets so fucking complicated. There's no way that you can reduce the complication or, or the complexities of a fucking relationship or a marriage to these four fucking things. Money, beauty, hair, and babies. Are you fucking serious? Those are all things that a nothing ass bitch would feel like. He shouldn't leave because I have his baby. He shouldn't leave because I pay for his weed. He shouldn't He shouldn't fuck nobody else because I got uh, a fat ass. Uh, he shouldn't leave because uh, I get my hair from the fucking Chinese. That's exactly why I'm leaving. You know what's crazy? Those things that you name, except for the money. Uh, but then with the money, you're like, are you, that's 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 what kind of nigga you want? Why would you name that first? Like, 
money. Okay, I will fuck a old millionaire bitch and get some money off of it. But I'm not finna. Some niggas will. Some niggas, but niggas will always and forever be trying to fuck another bitch. Every maid that come through that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, none of this shit says love. All of this shit says lust. All of this shit says force. You're forced. That bitch fine as fuck. I had to fuck that bitch. The hair shit, I don't... Yeah. And we got babies together, so we just gonna stay together until the baby graduate from college. She got money, nigga. She, what the fuck you want me to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, so you just retarded right there. Um, in this, in in uh, uh, babies in the world to keep them, they want dick. Period. And I'm saying that because ain't no way my puss ain't the best puss in the world. Hmm. That nigga better know. Shit, I got the best puss on the planet, so she ain't finna keep making me feel bad about my pussy. A, a whole bunch of niggas want this pussy. No, no, no. You're exactly right, actually. You're exactly right. They want the pussy. And once they get the pussy, they'll want that pussy. And then when, once they get that pussy, they'll want that pussy. You're putting your whole everything, everything that you have, everything that you are, that you are, you're putting that shit in your fucking pussy. That's all you are. Don't look at my personality. Don't look at my hygiene. Don't look at the way I, I discipline my children or lack thereof. Don't look at don't look at uh how I don't wanna uh I don't wanna uh show my fucking face. I always wanna wear weave and fucking makeup. Don't look at uh the fact that I'm dumb as fuck. I don't have any rationale or logic. Just feel this good pussy. And you'll be blown away. A bitch will fall in love with the fact that how you fell in love with the pussy. He ah uh, someone is showing interest in this pussy that my last nigga just thought was trash. So you you you're you know he beat me down, I got mentally abused and verbally abused. It's like no 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 you are you allowed yourself to be done that way. He did all that just because he didn't want to fuck. He beat you down because he didn't want to fuck, and. You'll start the argument. Um, uh, so why you don't want to have sex with me? Like, hey, whoa, ain't, ain't about having sex or nothing like that. It, it just, you know, this. And like I said, I can't speak from that point of view because I would never put myself in that position again. Um, never. Never. Um, I'm not going to allow you to believe that I'm obligated to fuck you. And... The only way that that can happen is if you're living with a bitch, you married the bitch, or, you know, just through ways like that. I will never let a bitch believe that I'm obligated to fucking her to where she can come ask me, so why y'all want to have sex with me? What? What did you say? You know what I'm saying? That type of shit. Nothing, nothing. You know what I'm saying? And that's how you gotta be. You have to be like that, dog, until you reach your fucking point where you're successful and a motherfucker is gonna be in line. Or you have somebody who is just as fucking passionate about their fucking future. Um, I'm not... Here's the thing. Pleasure is good, but usually as humans, what we do is we fucking abuse the pleasure. The reason why the three S's are a necessity is when you come in from a fucked up situation, coming home from prison, you homeless, you see how bad the dope done did you, you ain't got shit, you working a bullshit job, and you tired of the shit, you have to cut everything off in order to get where you're trying to go. You trying like, but you trying to still be around niggas while picking yourself up? Not gonna work. You trying to still fuck with hoes and shit like that, or even fuck with a bitch and try to come up? You still got that to deal with. You trying to get high and fucking come up? You can list Snoop Dogg, Wiz Khalifa, and every other motherfucker that get high. And then I want you to look at yourself and tell me where it's gotten you. Weed smoke has gotten uh, Snoop Dogg to the top. It's gotten Wiz Khalifa to the top along with their fucking talent. 
and people liking them. Now where's it got you? It ain't got you number fucking three kids and two child support fucking uh court dates. And a, a job at fucking Burger King. Nigga, you don't even got fucking money for the damn bus. You gotta hope that the damn bus driver gonna be cool and let you get on. And you saying, you're saying what now? What name did you, you said Snoop Dogg? And you're riding the bus? And you're 27? 30, how old? Nigga, please. Nigga, please. So, that's what that is. But, you know, this 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 is fucking retarded. Um, let's get back into it. Um, they want dick, period. Uh, it's nothing wrong with you. See, this is this is the reason why no matter how real I feel something might be, I don't give niggas cop outs. I don't give anybody cop outs. Um, there's nothing wrong with you. How in the fuck can you make that blanket statement? And they'll and they'll, you know, fucking pacify this um post by saying she's hurt or some shit like that. A nigga can't do that. A nigga can't generalize the a whole fucking sex, a whole gender of people. All them hoes are stupid bitches. Them hoes stupid bitches, man. All them hoes stupid bitches, bro. All them hoes. But look at this. Plain and kill it. it. It's right here. It's right here. Um... It's nothing wrong with you. And that's the, the, the biggest issue that we have. Um, all of this negative reinforcement. Instead of... And I salute the, the women who do say we need to work on us. Um, but you the, the women who need it the most, the ones who are real, I'm talking about crying when they go home. They haven't had a man in years. Crying because they're so lonely. But go outside their job and just be so fucking mean. Instead of using that energy to let me go walking and work on my body. Let me, since I don't have no man right now, let me find out who I am and find out why every man in my life has left me. It may be them. And see, when you go on that that journey, when you come out on, on the other side, you realize. Why the fuck was I letting a having a man or not having a man define the way I feel about me? But that's you go in trying to find out why you can't get a man and you come out realizing you don't need one. But if you never start that journey, you'll never come to that realization. And what she's telling you is never start that journey. Never start that journey. What she's trying to do is save you the pain. She's not saving you the pain. You're still fucking lonely. And still, every man that you let in your life walks out of the same fucking door. So then you uh, develop a hatred so fucking heavy that the next man that come in, you don't tell him that you're HIV positive. Or the next man that come in... You start experimenting with mercury and, and doing this voodoo shit, putting your period blood and all. This is how this happens because you have nothing ass bitches that are saying no matter what you do, these niggas are gay. Fuck them. Fuck over them. And it's like, hold on. What are we saying? What are we saying? Uh, what most of your friends like you bitches love to hang with gay dudes how the fuck can you call us gay and it, it and it be meant as derogatory when your makeup artist your what the fuck is going on but that's what that is so nothing wrong with you you Motherfucker don't know him from shit, but nothing wrong with you. Because it's how I feel. You're not giving a person 
advice, no matter who they are, you're telling them, no matter who you are, there's nothing wrong with you. What? What if this bitch don't take baths and no one has, she hasn't listened to anyone who's told her and then no one else gives a fuck about her enough because they just want to fuck and get out and that's some type of niggas who will fuck a bitch with stank pussy and don't, just don't give a fuck. Oh, man. Ugh. I'm fucked up by smell. I, I swear to God, I am. Um, it's nothing wrong with you, but they will find every reason in the world. Shit, man. But they will find every reason in the world to make you not good enough. Once again, putting your whole world into your pussy. I like going places with you. Um, I enjoy your company. But it's gotten to a point now to I, where I feel like, you know I fuck with you. You even know that I love you. I gotta, I have to focus on this show. I have to focus on this school. I have to focus on this project I'm working on. And this project is really wearing me down. Um, when we said our vows, I said I'll take you for better or worse. You said you'll take me for better or worse. Okay, right now, I need you to take me for worse because I am a fucking mess. Until um, I'm a wreck. Until I... I'm seriously... I'm, I'm a wreck right now. Until I get this project completed and I can make some traction in this I am I just can't focus and it's like I hate to make you feel like you're waiting on my beck and call but I know how it makes you feel when I don't perform well and I don't want to even start it if I'm not going to be into it mentally I'm just not there right now and I really need you to walk with me on this one uh, and understand what it is I'm going through. Now, whether that shit lasts for two years, five years, whatever, that's what we come with when we have, you know, a marriage. And then, you know, you can help a nigga through that project and then he succeed in that shit and then divorce you and get with a white girl. Um, this is, once again, these are the fucking risks of um, putting your happiness in someone else's hands. Um, but it, it, it's real life. Um, me not finding you attractive anymore has about as much to do with you as sky being blue. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just what it is. It's nature. Um, shit gets old. In the beginning... I could fuck you and it was new shit I would learn about you. Yeah. If I fuck you like this, you would come faster. If I fuck you like this, you would squirt. Um I don't wanna fuck you in the ass. You want me to but uh you wanted me to try just to see whatever like that. And I, I, I did that and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like we've done everything. The shit that I like for you to do, you do that shit every night. It's not new. If I like you to, uh, like, not YouTube got me scared. I don't even want to goddamn say shit. As if I ain't already said fucked up shit. Like, I, like, if I want you to suck my balls and shit like that, um, every night, uh, for 20 minutes straight, you do that shit every night. Like, it's old now. Like, it used to, like, that, that was your, uh, ace in a hole. If nothing else worked, that'll work don't work no more like I'm stressed the fuck out and this shit is normal like that's as humans that's what the fuck happens we get we take shit for granted and to be honest I'm not gonna miss that shit until I'm with a bitch that doesn't do it um because right now I just I don't I don't see the I don't see the value in it I have it I get it all the time I don't see the value in this shit with scarcity brings value um 
that's what the fuck that is. It don't have shit to do with how good your pussy is. Like, you you could have pussy so good if a nigga threw it up in the air, it'd turn to sunshine. Where what move I get that off of? It turned to sunshine if you throw it in the air. Like, I've been fucking that sunshine for five years straight. It feels like my hand. What do I need to tell you? It has nothing to do with what you look like. There's nothing that you can wear due to your hair. I don't know. I, I you know, with that hair shit, I, I, I'm kind of coming around, understanding that because with these fucking makeovers, I'm seeing with these hoes, shit, you can be fucking a new bitch every night. So I can understand, you know, for for, but I guess that's why she said hair. Um, but even with that shit, man, that shit becomes old because now I'm stressed the fuck out, and um, I know what you're doing. We went through this. We went through this on our third year. When I when I didn't really want to fuck for real. You came in with a new hairstyle when I was stressed out. And it kind of worked and shit like that. But it's still you. It's still you. Put a paper bag over your head. And, and you know what I'm saying? Like it's, I just don't feel like fucking right now. I just don't feel like fucking right now. I don't feel like fucking. I'm not looking to fuck nobody, and I'm going to go sit, I mean, real talk though, I mean, what's crazy is that a nigga could go to the gas station and see a regular bitch, and that bitch give a nigga the eye, and nigga stand tall like a fucking soldier, it's just some mental shit, and like, it's some shit that, you know, and that's what I'm saying, when you're in a relationship, you want to be able to make each other happy and shit like that. How in the fuck am I going to do that when I'm stressed about becoming a fucking millionaire? I need to accomplish my goals and then, you know what I'm saying? Because then I'll have time. Shit making my head hurt. Because then I'll have time to put aside. To, hey, let's go to this class. Let's go to fucking Hawaii. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Let's, let's live it up and shit like that. But right now, I'm trying to fucking become somebody. I don't just want to be a married person. And that's, that'll bring drama also. I'm not good with where I'm at. Just having a wife and a family and a house and a car. I'm not good with that. I want more out of life. I'm not good enough for you? What the fuck? What? What? And that's why in the beginning you have to get these things understood. But even if you do get them understood, you got to make sure that bitch really is with that shit. Because you don't want to be 10 years down the line and she starts saying shit that you explained on the first fucking day. So yeah. Um, but they, they will find every reason in the world to make you not good enough. Bitch, get over your fucking self. If he lays with you for three, four, ten days and he don't touch you, it's not you. He want a man. And, uh, you know, just like with a bitch like this, they say she got a new boyfriend and shit like that. And it's like, my nigga, if you can see this shit, dog, and it don't make you run, like, you, because you didn't know she was this fucking stupid... Whatever you get from her is what you deserve. I'm giving your relationship two years, if that. Um, it's obviously, the scorn woman, three, four, ten days. You, so, this is the same issue I had with Sierra and uh, Eliza Rain uh, talking to Future while in new relationships. Russell uh, Wilson shut that shit down with Sierra. But... The whole Eliza Rain is still... She ain't got no fucking money like that. She don't got no fucking NFL player. So she's still digging and trying to like... Bitch, why the fuck is you in a relationship with me beefing with your ex? Let me get out your way and let you handle your business. No, no, that's not you that. Well, look, you either going to be on me or you're going to be on that. I ain't, I'm not with that. 
But that's also something that you should have, because you know Tamar Braxton is a dumb bitch from the beginning. So you got what the fuck you paid for. But for you to say um, he in the bed with you and he don't touch you, he want a man. Um, I can be petty right now and say, what the fuck? If, what if he? Uh, what if he got a fucking operation? What if he? I don't, I don't do that lame man shit. Uh, like when I say smoking weed is. Uh, you need to stop smoking weed. Well, let's stop smoking weed. Some people smoke weed in, uh, yeah, for for cancer patients. Some people smoke weed for medical reasons. Yeah. Obviously, I'm not. If you're in a bed with him for three, four, ten days, um, and he don't touch you and he don't talk to you, what I would advise. Uh, first of all, you know, know what bed that you in. Like, are you in a bed with, with somebody who, um, showed these characteristics early? Like, what is he into? After, this is what I'm going to tell you not to do. After he's told you no, don't keep trying. Uh, and this is another reason why I started the Men Too movement. I've, multiple times for multiple women, um... I move their arm away and it becomes a fucking tug of war trying to get their fucking arm away from my dick. Like, oh, I said, no, no, like, no, I'm good. I'm good. No, I'm, I'm no, real talk. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, man. Goddamn good, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you really, and she, because that's how bad she won't, like, and it's like, come on, man, that shit, like. The Men Too movement was started like like you treat me like a bitch. You treat and it and this is happening in the club. This is you know this is not a rare occurrence. Walking the club and they pulling all on your shit like they don't give a fuck about. So how how dare you motherfuckers come out talking about? Are you serious? We can go tit. I thought we can go tit for tat, but niggas ain't standing up. Niggas won't stand up. We've had multiple opportunities to make. An arrest in a lot of these cases, and nobody will stand up. But like clockwork, they just steady getting niggas, steady getting niggas, steady getting niggas. Uh, man, cool, bro. It's cool. All right, we'll do it. Handle your business. Um. So yeah, that's 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 pretty much, and that's on my mama. This is another dumb bitch. Um. Relationships are hard. If your if your life is hard, don't get in a relationship. Make your life a little bit easier than getting a relationship. Uh, a relationship is work. If you already have a job that is extremely sh stressful, in the beginning, it can seem like a stress reliever. Uh, but in a couple months, it's going to be the reason why you have a fucking heart attack, depending on what age you are. So, but, you know, really, it's just about fucking with nothing ass bitches this is what you're gonna get um emotional responses to serious situations um there is something called erectile dysfunction niggas do have to take cialis and niggas do have to take viagra and on that tip don't let this bitch run you into an early grave because she want to fuck at 80 years old you know what this viagra and cialis is doing to your fucking heart this bitch ordering you more Viagra, like, oh, like, really, I was trying to go ahead and wean myself off of this shit. I really don't like the way it makes, what the fuck you mean you don't like the way it makes you feel? How you think this shit make me feel? I got to order motherfucking pill just to have sex with my motherfucking husband. Really, I was, go ahead and order them, because I, I hope, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and take a lot of these bitches and go ahead and get the fuck out of this bitch. I'm about to go to the upper room, fuck this shit, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Sad as fuck. Sad as fuck. But it is what it is. Uh, don't, don't allow this sick shit, man, to run your life. Don't, don't do it. Stop judging yourself by. And I, you know, and it's crazy, dog. You know, because niggas, oh man, of course, you know, you can say that shit, man. What about the nigga who, dog? Listen here, man. A bitch is gonna fuck. Um, just, just as sure as you got you some man, a bitch gonna fuck, man. 
just as sure as you got some a hoe gonna fuck, you gonna get bitches. And if you don't know how to get hoes and shit like that, then then call on somebody who got hoes and let them show you the ropes or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like it is what it is. You know, whatever it is, it is what it is. But at some point in time, sex is not going to be possible. You're gonna reach an age where it's not even fucking possible. Um and listen to you hear the bitches in the background. Yeah, it is. I, I, my grandma nine to go on me, her my granddaddy. You know, with all that. See hoes like that. It's like everybody can like. You know, sex feel good, man. It feel good. Um, but sometimes you 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 fucking somebody and you think y'all on the same page she in a bed for a whole different reason this her job like she's thinking about her future from here on her back she's thinking about her future you just having fun this her life this pussy it's her life and that's a hoe your life is your pussy. You a hoe. And sex work. You're a hoe. So that's, that's what that is. Um, get your shit together. You're not going to get your shit together by um, trying to fuck all the time. So get your shit together. Make your shit happen. And don't jump into some shit that you're not ready for uh, just because you like the way it feel when you fuck. Um... That, that feeling you have for the first couple months, that shit is going to wash away and you're going to start looking at this person. Like, in the beginning, you look at them and find all the things you like and you'll tune out all the things that you don't like. And then as you keep going, you start looking less at the shit you like. Like, fuck the fat ass, fuck the flat tummy, fuck the, the flat stomach, fuck the pretty feet and the, you know, nice size titties and the natural hair. Man, I don't like the way this motherfucker, her back, her back teeth, I don't like the way them motherfuckers, mm-mm, it ain't, they, they just ain't, they, they white, but they just ain't as white, mm-mm, and her nose, I really feel like her left nostril is a little bit bigger than the right one, that shit just make me so fucking mad, dog. shit, bitch, you can't get that shit fixed, god damn, bitch. Eyelashes, man. Them goddamn eyelashes, dog. I swear to God, them hoes gotta be shit longer than my goddamn fingernail, dog. Shit, bitch. Cut them hoes. God damn. Because y'all just around each other all the time. It's like, man, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> that's, that's funny. I did that one time. I swear to God, I did. Two o'clock in the morning. She putting her arm around me. I really did. I fucking went crazy, dog. I went fucking crazy. I went insane, dog. I went insane. Let me just get the fuck away from me, yo. Like, I went insane, man. That shit, that shit got to me, man. Like, bitch, get the fuck away from me, man. And I mean, it, it's just... So, when I knowing that I get like that, it's like, I'm not going to bring nobody, like... Because by the time I'm like, get the fuck away from me, she's going to be dead in love. So, no, I, I ain't on it, man. I'm just going to focus on what I got going on. Um, and plus, like I said, I'm still in transformation mode. I'm I'm headed so many fucking places. I don't have no fucking time. And if you know that you are a busy person and you're trying to do something, you don't have time for a relationship, which is going to take all your time, don't, don't, don't leave nobody on. And that's what that is. Make sure you go to the Patreon on YouTube. It's playing that bullshit ass game. Make sure you hit the PayPal and the cash app. Y'all know what the fuck going on. Um, and I'll see y'all in a minute. Love, love.